we were given the square root of x plus the square root of y equals seven. We were asked to determine dy dx or y prime, and then also determine the equation of the tangent line at the point nine comma 16. Because we have an implicit equation, we will perform implicit differentiation. Let's first write the equation using rational exponents. The square root of x is equal to x to the power of one half, and the square root of y is also equal to y to the one half. So the given equation is x to the power of one half plus y to the power of one half equals seven. And next step is to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x. When differentiating with respect to x, if the term is an x term, we differentiate like we normally do. If we're differentiating a y term with respect to x, we need to apply the chain rule, and therefore we differentiate with respect to y, then multiply by dy dx. To begin, the derivative of x to the power of one half with respect to x is one half times x to the power of one half minus one, which is negative one half. Then we have plus the derivative of y to the power of one half with respect to x is one half times y to the power of one half minus one, which is negative one half. But again, we have to apply the chain rule, and therefore we have times dy dx. Equals on the right side, the derivative of seven with respect to x is zero. And now we need to solve the equation for dy dx. Let's first write the equation using positive exponents. One half x to the power of negative one half is equivalent to one divided by two x to the power of positive one half, and then we have plus one half y to the power of negative one half is equal to one divided by two y to the power of positive one half, and then we have times dy dx equals zero. Let's also write x to the power of one half as the square root of x, and y to the power of one half as the square root of y. So we have one divided by two square root x, plus one divided by two square root y times dy dx equals zero. And now let's work on solving the equation for dy dx. Let's begin by subtracting one divided by two square root x on both sides of the equation, which will give us one divided by two square root y times dy dx equals on the right side negative one divided by two square root x. And now to solve for dy dx, we will multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of one divided by two square root y, which is two square root y divided by one. Simplifying on the left, two square root y divided by itself simplifies the one. On the left, we now just have dy dx equals on the right, two divided by two simplifies to one. dy dx equals negative square root y divided by square root x. Let's go ahead and record this above. And now that we have y prime or dy dx, we can determine the slope of the tangent line at the point nine comma 16, and then determine the equation of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line is equal to the derivative function value at the point nine comma 16, which means we substitute nine for x and 16 for y in the derivative function, which is negative square root 16 divided by square root nine, which simplifies to negative four thirds. So now we know the slope of the tangent line, and we also know the tangent line passes to the point nine comma 16, and therefore we can now determine the equation of the tangent line. Let's first find the equation in point slope form, which is the form y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1, where m equals negative four thirds, x1 equals nine, and y1 equals 16. This gives us the equation y minus 16 equals negative four thirds times the quantity x minus nine. So this is the equation of the tangent line in point slope form. Let's go ahead and solve for y and write the equation in slope intercept form. For the next step, we will distribute negative four thirds on the right, which gives us y minus 16 equals negative four thirds x 
And then we have negative 4 thirds times negative 9, which is equal to positive 12, giving us plus 12. Last step to solve for y, we add 16 to both sides. Simplifying, we have y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 28. So again, we have the equation of the tangent line at the point 9 comma 16 in point slope form as well as sloped intercept form. And let's look at this graphically. The curve given by the implicit equation is graphed here in blue. The point of tangency is the point 9 comma 16, and the equation for this red tangent line is y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 28, which verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.